video here on the kit that I got installed on my bike. 48 volt, 1000 watt battery off eBay. 48 volt front hub motor, also off eBay. Front hub, 180 total. Battery about 250. Comes with all the parts you need to install it, except for the torque arm, which is recommended. Uh, this bike's been great for me. I've gotten well over three, 400 miles off of it. Still, battery still like it was new. As you can see, I've got all these tubes on here. I put those on when I first hooked it all up together. My idea was it might keep some of the rain off of it. I don't know if it really does anything. Probably doesn't. Probably draws a little bit more attention to the bike. I might remove those. Super easy to install. Comes with, comes with directions. The one I bought did anyway. Some might not. But there's plenty of videos out there on how to do it. They're all pretty much the same. I had to solder one wire in this whole thing and it was just the uh, wire from the battery to the controller and might not have had to do that if I had told them which connection I needed but um, it was sold in two different pieces the hub motor controller everything and the battery was separate so it had two different connections I had to get them together so I went front hub versus rear hub because the installs a little easier you don't have to deal with the gears and everything in the back of the brake you just hook it up I wanted it was my first bike putting together and I just wanted something easy if I were to go back and order something else with the knowledge I have now and the budget I had I would probably include a upgraded display that would show or maybe just a throttle that would show the voltage because as it is now it just has four bars and that's not very accurate for me so the battery, 250 shipped from eBay, hub motor, 180. Both items took less than two weeks to get to my house. They were in stock in the US. If you're gonna go front hub, you really gotta be careful. Uh, get a good torque arm, make sure those nuts are tight on there and your front shocks are in good shape. So I picked up the bike for hundred bucks so all in all, this cost me less than $5.50 to put together, which is pretty good considering the speed. You can go 28, 29 miles an hour, and, and it can get me, if I'm cruising around 10, 15 miles an hour, I can go probably about 20, 30 miles. I've got some riding footage I put together, so I'm gonna include that in the end of this video. That's about it. If you have any questions, let me know.